Last night the world changed before my very eyes Broken dreams and promises brought on by the lies I want to get away, far away, pretty much every day I'm never gonna wanna be here Good morning, today is Friday and I'm having my day off today instead of Thursday usually and I'm really upset I woke up to find out that we have voted leave by like 2%. Percent. James Cameron has resigned, which is amazing. But to only be replaced by possibly Boris Johnson. I've woke up to a different Britain. And I know it's gonna take a while to take effect. But I'm scared. I'm really scared, I don't. I, I just hope so much I was wrong. I hope this was the right decision. Oh, but Nigel Farage has given me so much confidence that their entire campaign, one of their biggest policies for this campaign was that we spend 350 million pounds a week, which is probably nothing in the budget. But they said, let's spend it on the NHS instead because now, only now, they've started to care about the NHS but now they're going to use that money and spend it on the NHS today, already, 24 hours hasn't even gone by and he's already gone, oh well no that was a mistake, no, we shouldn't have said that well no, I think he even said they shouldn't have said like that like he had nothing to do with this <coughs> on the plus side though, I did get a massive tub of coconut oil for £1.50 which is so cheap, they're like six quid everywhere else, so Swings and more roundabouts So interesting fact, I'm trying to be more vegan. I don't think I'll ever be 100% vegan. I just I Don't know I, right now. I don't think I would I think I'd easily become a vegetarian, but Jeez, I don't know but I do feel guilty. I I have no problem with people using animal products. What I have a problem with is the demand for animal products is so high that no animal can have a good quality of life before we need their produce. And that's what I have a problem with. I have a problem with how animals are treated. And I watched many many documentaries and quite a lot of them say that even if you can't be vegan or vegetarian just drastically cutting down, even cutting down a little bit will massively help the effect overall because even though animals will probably always be in demand if they're not in as much demand it takes the pressure off farmers it takes the financial strain of what you're feeding them because in America um, the, you, you feed them corn and they're not even meant to eat corn but that's because it's the cheaper alternative I don't actually know what we feed them in the UK there's annoyingly not many documentaries in the UK but it's probably just as bad and you know it's not great and but so I'm trying to cut down on my meat intake or my animal intake which that's what I was trying to get to and I'm quite proud of myself here are some of the alternatives I've got I've got coconut milk instead of cream soya in case instead of milk because uh, I want to have porridge and even though um a lot of the cooking oil I used was like had no animal products in any way. This is, you know, definitely vegan and it's meant to be one of the best things you can use. And it was super duper cheap. It was like £1.50 and it's usually like six quid. Out of all my weekly shopping, I mean literally out of everything to last me a week, these are the only animal products I've you I bought. I've bought some ham, some feta, and some egg. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have even bought the ham the egg or the feta if it wasn't for the fact I had literally the nicest wrap in the world yesterday and it was spinach, ham and egg and feta and it was wow it was incredible it was so so nice so if it wasn't for that I probably wouldn't have even bought the ham and feta but I did <laughs> so I've just came back from a meal with my dad and we went for lunch as we usually do on my day off and it was lovely but while I was out, Scotland has already announced they're putting through a referendum for independence and some dick has put through a vote of no confidence on Jeremy Corbyn 
who is literally the only thing that's making me not freak out at the moment. So if he leaves and Scotland leave, we'll probably be in a perpetual state of Tory government for the rest of my life. I literally, don't, I don't think I've ever been this sad or worried about my future, ever. So I have been working quite hard actually. I stopped to make a delicious stir fry dinner, which I didn't film, because uh, I love to show off my cooking. And I ate that and then I started drinking wine a little bit. Uh, and then I stopped drinking wine before like it got to my head and then I carried on tidying I did the dishes I made all my Etsy orders uh put them in a bag hung them on the door so I don't forget them which I usually do and now I'm gonna finish my Patreon stuff because as everyone can see I've been so busy lately and then I had loads of personal emotional drama but yeah so now I'm gonna finish that up and hopefully they'll get posted out tomorrow so I'm really sorry they're late, but at the same time, it's been shipped out in the same month. So, progress from when I first used to do my Patreon rewards. Netflix isn't working! It's fine. It's fine. fine. <sighs> Love film will have to do. Because remember that time I accidentally bought it for a year? Okay, my good deed today is quite cute. One of my friends, uh, John from America, plays Sim City, the Build It app game, which I was addicted to. And you can trade items between each other because you need certain items to build upgrade buildings. And he just messaged me saying, Oh, do you have these two items? And they're very expensive and very rare in the game. And I messaged, I checked, and I had two. And I'm, yeah, sure, I've put them up for sale for you. And I did them at one coin each, because that's the lowest. I would have done it for free otherwise. Usually they're like 600 coins each. So, yeah, there's, there's my good deed today. <laughs> they don't have to be amazing. <laughs>